Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. I apologize for the delay in videos. My uh, recording schedule had a bit of a derailment. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm still at the southern mine here, and I did a little bit of work on the cabin after the last episode. I decided I was going to put a little bit of chimney in and try to make a couple of trees, and yeah, it kind of works. Uh, there was... This thing is starting to get some serious lag when I build on it. Uh, a lot of conveyors, that's not surprising, but when have I ever done anything smart, right? But, anyways, we actually have a very, very good update today. It's, a, it's actually a game-changing update, something I've been sort of hoping for. How long has that been there? Uh, we'll actually look at the update when we get back to the lab. So, I will see you there. Hey, it's snowing. Okay, I'm back, and of course I had the usual lag spike as soon as I came in within drawing range, and I am having a hell of a time trying to land this thing. Should have made a bigger platform. It's big enough as it is. The whole lab drew in first, and then this drew in afterwards. Just had its own little lag spike. But, here we are. I'm not going to worry about unloading the containers right now, because... We don't really need anything in them at the moment. Uh, I will have to go back and get the titanium and the gold and all that stuff, and we'll get that later. But as far as the updates, yeah, someone has, had mentioned that too. I've seen some people in the forums mention about structure sliding, and yes, it is, they are sliding. That could have something to do with part of today's update. But uh, the first part of this is we have some more color in the system. We have colored build division or power lines power wires. So as you can see, uh, my switchboards, I painted them all red, so the red the connections from the switchboards to the other switchboards are all red. Um, I think it, I'm not sure if it actually does that with the color of the, the block it goes to, because you, as you can see, going from the switchboard to the air blades, it's so, sort of like a faded pink color, but from switchboard to switchboard it's red all the way through. And as you can see, you can see it over there. Uh, the white will be from like one color to a different color. And that sort of thing. Another one they did too is they uh, changed the colors of lights apparently. So I actually want to go check this out. Uh, I don't know if it's part of the config menu or part of actually how you color the light. So let's find out. Uh, does seem awfully red in here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if we got different beacon colors now. Let's actually go check. Uh, we're gonna go upstairs. Up we go. Take the elevator to the top floor. So let's see if we got extra colors on this now. And I do believe it is. Yeah, the beacons are the same. And I do believe it is the small lights too. Uh, giving us more options to add more color to the game, which is really, really handy. I actually like that idea. Uh, so we can go in here, and then we can go ahead and just change the colors of these. Change it red, green, blue, turquoise, whatever. Go back to white here. I wish you could right click and go backwards. And then, oops, that's caps lock. And if I had the switchboards up top, the same color as these switchboards, and I'd have this that color build vision or uh, power wires. So that's cool. That's actually quite interesting. Uh, comes in handy too when you're trying to keep things organized. Let me see if I have anything on me. Uh, a little bit. Let me grab a few supplies, and I'll meet you at the the pads because we're gonna get to the next part of this update. Okay, before we begin, I, th I thought we'd actually check out the different colors of the power wires. So as you can see, I got the 12 switchboards, two pair, 12 pairs of switchboards, uh, one of each color, and we're going to go ahead and connect them. I did this all off camera, and it was a good thing too, because uh, my lag building on this base is insane. So we have white, we have black. That's actually pretty good if you want to have the build vision on, you don't want to see the lines everywhere, you can go with the black, I actually like that. We've got the, we'll call it titanium. We have the old school green. Oh, there's an autosave. 
and we'll call it peach or pink red oh that's the wrong one this one oh, we'll call it sand sandy beige yellow orange and we got brown this is I actually really like this it's gonna be interesting to see what people come up with with this just using the build vision as like art for lines and stuff look at that I like that that's cool they're almost like little fluorescent tubes little fluorescent lights that is really nice yeah, but then of course you go ahead and connect one to over here and then it'll go white doesn't matter what the cut color combination is anything that doesn't match will stay white uh, also curious about the disconnection like if it's blue when it's connected does it stay blue but like a different type of blue when it's disconnected and then goes back to this when it's reconnected not too sure but that's I, I like that I like that but now let's go back over here so one of the, uh, I don't know what episode it was or when it was. I ended up making, I think you could call it a fixed beam scale, where you had two beams that moved uh, parallel to each other, regardless of the angle. Well, one of the things that they've done in this update is they have, let me get that build vision off, that's where the lag's come from, is they have uh, allowed the ability to lock hinges and rotating plates. So there's a lock joint and unlock joint. So when you go and build them, they're automatically set in a lock position until you unlock them, which does offer lots of possibilities. And I gotta, I gotta move some hot bars around here because I want the blocks and the hinges on one. So give me a second here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a, get a proper testing color here. Let's go with the, uh, let's go with the orange. I like the orange. So we'll go ahead and build this up a little bit. So when I put the rotor on, it will stay there. Now usually when I, like, well, rotating plate, I call them rotors. But whenever I try to build them with them, they're always rotating on me. So I always do have trouble sometimes lining it up. So you'll see me put a block on one side and then on the other side and sort of use the, the weight to pull it the way I want. But now we have the option to do this and it's gonna stay locked in place until I unlock it. Now the developers do say that it is still under control by the physics engine. So if I put enough weight on here, the hinge, the rotating plate is gonna freak out. I'm seeing a lighting glitch over there. I thought something was going on over there. So this will stay here as I build on it until I unlock it. And then if I go unlock it again, then it will stay in that position no matter what. And this is allowing for like much different unique builds. See, as you can see, see it stays till I release it. That's really handy. So now I want to try a few other things. Uh, one of the things I wanted, to, I started thinking about was if it's actually gonna count it as a single grid. You know what I mean? Like uh, when I was doing the, the scale and uh, what was the other one? The, the gyro. When I was uh, getting my connection points, it wouldn't actually connect that. I always had to build around. So what I'm going to try to do is I want to see if I can do the same thing with this. And I probably should build that out. But I'm going to get like a, a simple little hinged frame set up and I'll bring you back when I've got it done. I might as well bring you back for this part right here because this is what I'm talking about. Uh, the way these things worked in the past, you had to build a continuous line. You couldn't join up on the other side because it just wouldn't connect. But because of the fact that this is actually being locked in place, I'm wondering if this is actually going to consider these as like static blocks and actually snap together right there. And the only way we're going to be able to find out is, let me finish up this one here. 
Oh, yeah, I can see the seam. Yeah, it's going to fall apart right there. Because that was the last block I placed. So if I turn this one off... I should not turn this one on. Yeah. That's what I thought. So, yeah, that was something I wanted to investigate. Because that could have uh, definitely opened up different possibilities. But, uh, let's try some of the rain. Let me get rid of this rain for a second here. Okay, well, I thought I'd give it another shot to see if maybe it would actually work if I tried doing it differently. But again, it still doesn't actually connect here. And, of course, as I expected, separate centers of mass, which means it is not connected. But having it being able being locked in place like that makes, uh, makes it easier to be able to brace stuff. So if you ever want to do stuff like this, you know, when you go to... I call it boxing in the joint. Go ahead and do it that way. Now, what side is this connected on? I believe... Connected on top, that's fine. That's fine. So if I go ahead and release that one... As you can see, it is still technically... Boxed in. Not the greatest. It's slipping because it's not actually going underneath it. Uh, there is a slight amount of room. But that's what I was attempting to do. Now if we go ahead and put an air blade on this. See, I, I wanted to... Uh, I've talked about doing some sort of walker for a while. And this was supposed to be like the main basis on how the limbs are going to be. It was supposed to be like a desk lamp, you know, those uh, folding metal desk lamps that have like that hinge point in the middle. So let's go ahead. Don't you be freaking out on me. Alright, so I do need a cockpit here. Let's, uh, where do I have one? There's one right there. Go ahead and place that. No glass. I got glass right over here. Probably not enough. <laughs> Just take this, take the Stacy chamber. I thought we got glass out of those things. Huh. Uh, give me a moment. I guess we might as well borrow this one since it's not doing anything. Still there. That's good. All right. And you know what? I do have to rebuild the Stacy chamber. Hang on. Okay, I slept till the next day. Uh, sadly, this biome it rains like half the day, every day. And I've been thinking about trying to see if it's possible to actually move the lab, see if we can actually pick it up and just fly it somewhere else. But anyways, let's go ahead and do that. We will uh, connect this to that. And go in here and Oh, that's way out. I was flying the train, as you can tell. Oh, and there's an auto save just in time. Now we zoom in. So, as you can see, it does sort of hinge. Now, these parallel bars that are going horizontal right now, if I had another pair of those connected to the other side of this short piece right here, and when I went up, it would cause the other side to go in the opposite direction if it was boxed off at the end, sort of sort of like an accordion type of thing, right? And that's what I was hoping that uh, this block locking was going to be able to do, that we'd be able to, you know, get proper connections. But, yeah, it was still a little ways to go. You never know, they might add a few more goodies. Uh, I do know there is a... It's not even connected there, it doesn't look like... I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I can see a seam line there, just like I can see the seam line here. But yeah, um, we got a huge, huge, huge update coming up. Next little bit here. Uh, this is one of the f couple of small updates we're going to get before then. And this, like I said, it's definitely helps. going to help out a lot. It would help with the big base bus me working on the wheels there. Instead of having to plant the bogeys every time, I could just put the wheels on when I'm ready to go and lock the rotating plates and good to go. With that being said, uh, I was going to check the refinery, but I'm pretty sure that thing's going to be chock full of deuterium right now. 
but I'm going to hop back in the train and we're going to head north and start working on the next station. And here we are at the titanium and gold uh, mine. Uh, the station I want to do with this one, I was actually thinking about utilizing the cliff and I'm actually thinking about can cantilevering the station off this cliff face right here and sort of have like a little office on the inside. Uh, another thing I noticed never don't really realize how big that tree is until you see that container way down there you can see it right at that front air blade there it's a huge tree you can only imagine how much biomass is out of that thing uh, for the time being I think I'm gonna leave the train just hovering uh, I checked the fuel supply it's got about 11 hours of fuel time so we are pretty good uh, I was trying to think about the best place to put it because Either way, I'd have to carry one of the containers a little bit of a ways, but I think I'm going to put it like right in here and go with that. So, let me get a first person, let me get out of here. Uh, I'm going to load up on supplies. Uh, yeah, I had to stop it back at the lab and pick up some more stuff uh, just because. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, let's start building.
You can only imagine what the neighbors must think. They probably think I'm crazy. Second like through the lights like this. That's kind of cool. The only idea I could really think of uh, using the different colors for, other than you know, if you really want to get moody in your base, is for uh, you know backlighting, for instance. Uh, let's actually check something here. I want to check the other lights too, especially the the front mounts, or as I call them, my pixels. Uh, try those ones. We'll try the strip lights too. Uh, where are they? There they are. And there was one other light. Oh yeah, the wall light. I was actually gonna put try putting that in here, but I never did. So let's first let's try that one. See if we can change the color of this one. Oh, we can. Ooh. Oh, it's up there. I gotta say that's a good combination. The magenta with the black. I like that. So that is cool. So it's then I, I'm assuming it's gonna be every light too. So we'll go ahead and try that one and this one. And come on, there we go. We can. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. I was trying to figure out why there was an extra option. I realized it was the automatic function. But that is cool. So yeah, uh, this is uh, the little little titanium gold outpost station base, whatever. Uh, I tried to give it sort of like a dug-in look, so that's why I filled up the ceiling a little bit because yeah, the cutting's not precise. Uh, I did originally have a gold strip going down the middle, but it was a little too bright, I figured, so I went with this. And there we have it. Uh, hopefully I have enough supplies on me for the final stop, because that's going to be quite the build. Uh, it's going to be a detailed build. Am I missing a container? No, okay. I don't think I am. No, you could just look at the shadow, it's okay. And this thing has been sitting here the whole time. But, for the, the next one, I think I'm going to be needing... We should have enough, depending on how detailed I want to get with the build. But there we go, there's my uh, second station. All it really is for is for someone to park this thing. Unfortunately, I am nowhere near being able to do it. Yeah, triple jackknife, no way to back this thing up. No way. Well, safely. All right, let's go land. See if I got my measurements right. I tried to get the office too, wherever I figured the engine was going to be. And more than likely, I would be coming from that direction if I ever come up here. So then this works. I didn't bother doing the containers yet. Uh, again, titanium and gold isn't something I don't think I need too much of, really. It's a cobalt and aluminum, and that's going to be a nasty one. And there we go. Look at that, perfect. And that's it. There is my, uh... Oh yeah. You can tell it's been a while since I've flown this thing. That was the right one, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Yeah, there we go. There we go, there's uh, my titanium gold station. Two down, one to go. And then once that's all done, we can head back to back to the lab and get some more building done. Get some fun building, crazy building. And I'm thinking with uh, the active blocks being able to be locked in place, like the, the hinges and the rotating plates, that I might be able to get a little more complexity into my my creations but anyways that's going to be it for this episode i thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and i'll see you in the next one later